Hi, this is William Bohr with MLB Pipeline, and I'm joined with Padres, pros Padres prospect Joey Cantillo. Joey, how's it going today? It's going well. Uh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. So obviously, this is not going to be a normal season. You're part of the Padres player pool right now. What's that like? What's life in the player pool? Take me through a normal day. Um, yeah, it's a little different than usual, but at the same time, it is baseball every day. Just like, you know, think of spring training, you, you wake up and whatever time that is your report time, you know, you go in, you have your baseball. Um, and for the most part, you know, there is a little, there's separate groups. So sometimes there's not too many people on the field at one time. Um, so we'll have like a few different throwing groups and the position players are out there at different times. Um, but then when the day is all done, you know, after baseball, you, you go back straight to the hotel and then that's basically it to the stadium and to the hotel. And, you know, I have no other business out here really. So um, it's been pretty streamlined. So the workouts, like you said, the groups are spaced out and obviously you have to, you know, you're taking your tests every couple of days and all that. Mm -hmm. But once you actually get on the field, does it start to feel more normal? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it is baseball when it comes down to it. Um, some guys are wearing their masks. We, I, you know, I always, when it's time to play, I have my mask in my pocket. Um, and, you know, obviously in the clubhouse and the training room, we're wearing masks and, you know, we're socially distancing um, and following all those protocols. And there is a lot more new protocols, obviously with, you know, everything around the game and just, just trying to be safe and, and, be courteous of other people's space um but yeah once you're out on the baseball field you know you get your work in you, we're not licking the balls we're you know we're trying not to spit and do things like that but um it's the same game in between the lines and you know we have a regular throwing s schedule and you know we do our pfps and it's it's right now the last you know two weeks it's been basically like a spring training out on the baseball field and uh no it's been fun i was talking the other day to diamondbacks prospect corbin carroll and he was saying that obviously you guys wish you were playing games and going through the regular season right now, but for someone like you, someone like him, who's at the lower levels, it's kind of cool that you're getting this experience competing against major league guys, seeing how they work out. And that's something that you, you typically wouldn't be getting in July. He was saying, you know, normal July, he wouldn't be having at bats yeah. against major league pitchers. Is that, kind of a positive that you can take from this as you're getting to pitch against other types of guys? Yeah, definitely. This is a, it's a huge opportunity, once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. Um, you know, we all like things to be normal and, you know, what, what, whatever affiliate I may be at this time during a normal year, you know, you'd be going about your business that way and that'd be great. Um, but think, you know, I was like to be in this player pool and, and, you know, there's a lot of guys at home. So I'm just, I'm grateful for this opportunity. And like you said, you know, I'm out here facing big league hitters and facing our, our a lineup and just getting to see how some of our, you know, our pitchers work on a daily basis, seeing Kirby and Chris Paddock and all those guys um, play catch and how they do things, watching bullpens and, and just seeing, you know, watching the big league inner squads every night is awesome too. Just, you know, you're watching big league competition every night. And then when it's our turn, we, you know, we're out there pitching against them and, and it, it's awesome. Like, you, you know, you'll never usually have this opportunity. Granted, hopefully, you know, we've all been trying to get to a big league camp, you know, in, in due time. But this is kind of our, our, it's our first big league camp. And just getting to this experience, you know, at a young age is, is awesome. So it's definitely a huge opportunity. Have you had any kind of pinch yourself moments where maybe, I don't know how it's all been set up, where maybe you're pitching to Fernando Tatis or you're like, hey, this isn't a game, but okay, I'm on the mound at Petco or Anything that's kind of been like, okay, this is. This is I wouldn't say on, on the mound. Like I've been, I've pitched on Petco before, and every, you know, mm -hmm. I would never take it for granted because being on a big league mound, whatever the circumstances, is is just a dream come true and it's a blessing. Um, but you know, my first live BP throwing a, to Hosmer and Tatis and some of those guys. Like, I think my mentality is maybe at first you're like, okay, I'm facing big leaguers, but like the confidence and. And, you know, your stuff, once, once you step, once you throw that first pitch, it's kind of like, okay, like I belong here. My stuff plays, I can get them out. And, um, you know, you have respect for those guys and what they've done, but at the same time, it's also knowing and having that confidence that, Hey, like, you know, I, I can be right here at the, these guys levels and, you know, I am. So, you know, that's when you go out there and you just play and, and have fun. You mentioned that your stuff plays. How, how would you 
describe your approach on the mound? How would you maybe scout yourself? Um, I think my fastball plays a lot higher than its velocity. And, you know, some people see the 90 or the 92 or the 89 and they think, Hey, his fastball doesn't really play. He doesn't really get many swings and misses with it, but it's actually the opposite. My fastball does get a lot of swing and misses. Um, I like to pitch up in the zone. I think when I'm pitching aggressively and pitching off my fastball, regardless of if it's 92 compared to another guy's 96, I think it, it plays. So I think, you know, throwing a lot of heaters, you know, pitching up in the zone and then throwing uh, my change up off my fastball and then having that fastball change up combination as well as, you know, we've worked the last, you know, 12 to 16 months about really working on my breaking ball and throwing it more in counts. Um, and my curveball has come a long way and I feel really confident about it, you know, dropping it in there, stealing strikes. And I think eventually it will become another um, out pitch for me. Um, but yeah, overall, just when I'm attacking, I'm aggressive. Don't, just like any pitcher, you know, when you throw strikes, you're going to be more successful. And uh, I don't think with my stuff, I need to nibble. Like I can, I can go right at guys and, you know, weak contact, swing and misses, whatever it may be, you know, you pitch aggressively to hitters and that's when you have the most success. Maybe the answer to this next question is your curveball. If you're just straight looking at the numbers, you've had a lot of success since you were drafted back in 2017. But where do you feel you've grown or improved the most since you've been in pro ball for two and a half years? Um, I'd say just my overall understanding of the game and how to pitch. Like, I mean, as a 17-year-old kid coming out of high school, you think, you know, you think you, you've done well. And, mm -hmm. you know, you know you're going to learn a lot in pro ball and just – the nature of learning as you play more and more baseball. But I really think I've grown a lot, you know, mentally, physically, um, but just understanding the game more, understanding like how to actually pitch and like what, how to get guys out. And like, it's not necessarily the things that you, you thought were important and just, I mean, all aspects, just being able to learn new pit, not learn new pitches, but learn how to do, do things different ways. And, and I mean, my changeup, I think is one of the biggest I didn't throw a changeup at all in high school and now in pro ball, just having to, pre I remember my first year in rookie ball, I had to throw it in throwing programs and stuff. And now it's become one of my best pitches and just adapting, I guess, and learning and, and figuring out new ways to get better. Speaking of rookie ball, I think the weather in San Diego right now is probably a little nicer than spending more time in the AZL. Yeah. Yes. I, uh, I had two summers in the AZL. It was pretty hot, but you know, dry, I will say dry heat to me is a lot better than humid because in the Midwest League last year, in the Midwest, was, the humidity was was pretty brutal. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. I mean, I live in Phoenix, so it's like 110 yesterday. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, I'm with you. I'm not humidity. humidity. Yeah, 95 degrees and 100% humidity is a whole other whole other monster. For sure. Um so obviously, again, no games is an atypical season, but what do you want to improve upon? What are your goals for, I guess, not this season, but for the next few months? Um, I think there's so many things, but uh, on a daily basis, keep it pretty simple, controlling what I can control. And like you said, we don't know, we don't really know what this taxi squad entails. And, you know, if I'm sent there and, and, you know, we're doing our thing there, facing, doing inner squads against our own guys. Um, I think it'll be fun, and I think it'll be a unique experience. Granted, it's not our normal season, as we all know, but I think there's going to be things that, you know, we take in and learn. You know, we're going to be able to face our guys on a day-in, day-out day out basis. So just talking to our prospects and our guys saying, like, hey, what'd you see? And I can learn a lot from my guys because I'm facing them every day. So if they see things, they can come and tell me what they saw. Um but from a pitching standpoint, too, you know, continuing to work on my development of my breaking ball, um, throw it more, you know, I'm confident in it. And when I'm confident in it, you know, that's when I'll throw it for strikes and throw it hard and get the right release point and everything on it. Um, but overall, just continue to do what I've done. I think just attack and, and compete with, with, you know, my fastball and my changeup and, and eventually break in more, more breaking balls. Um, so, yeah, keep, I keep it simple, throw strikes, and, and continue to do what I've done. What's it like being a part of this Padres farm system, a system that's so loaded with talent at all levels, specifically on the mound, especially when you got guys like Gore and Patino? Um, how much does that just push you and motivate you, knowing how much talent is around you? 
Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It really is. I just since I was drafted in 2017, seeing those guys, seeing, you know, uh, Luis and Gore when they were, you know, I guess three years ago, we're all the same age now, but just seeing how they've grown and then seeing guys like Paddock and I guess you got more hone and bias, just being at the complex with these guys working out. And now, you know, some of them, Tatis, all those guys are at the big league level um, contributing to win. So it's kind of encouraging to see like, hey, you know, I was in the same place as these guys and now they're up there or, you know, guys that were right there are up there now. So I'm just right behind them. And like you said, it does, it does the competitiveness, it does bring every, each other, everyone up because, you know, everyone's talented. We got such a great farm system. It makes you need to do so, not need to do so much more, but you want to do so much more to, to really bring yourself up. And I think it, the, the inner competition between everybody just rises the level of play. So does that even awesome. give you even more confidence to, to uh, quote unquote follow the plan, seeing how much they've progressed and knowing like, okay, the Padres clearly know what they're doing as far as developing pitchers. Yeah, yeah. I guess after these three years, it, it seems like, you know, I've, I've been a part of this group and, you know, I'm just one of those guys now. Um, but yeah, it is encouraging. You see every year as they draft new guys and stuff, it is encouraging like the Padres are, are an organization that has proven to develop players, mm -hmm. develop groups, that's for sure. So I think just, and I would like to say I'm one of those guys that, you know, we, I'm still being developed and I got, I definitely have a long way to go, believe me. Um, but it is encouraging, you know, the staff and, you know, the front office, the coordinators, everybody, you know, I think it's, it's a good group of guys and the, what we've been doing, you know, has worked to an, to a level and, you know, we're going to keep doing it and hopefully it translates to more big league wins and, you know, ultimately a championship. Awesome. Joey, thanks for uh, taking some time with us today and uh, best of luck moving forward the rest of this year and the rest of summer camp and this whole player pool situation. I appreciate it. It's going to be a fun year. You mentioned that your stuff plays. How, how would you describe your approach on the mound? How would you maybe scout yourself? Um, I think – my fastball plays a lot higher than its velocity. And, you know, some people see the 90 or the 92 or the 89 and they think, Hey, his fastball doesn't really play. He doesn't really get many swings and misses with it, but it's actually the opposite. My fastball does get a lot of swing and misses. Um, I like to pitch up in the zone. I think when I'm pitching aggressively and pitching off my fastball, regardless of if it's 92 compared to another guy's 96, I think it, it plays. So I think, you know, throwing a lot of heaters, you know, pitching up in the zone and then throwing uh, my change up off my fastball and then having that fastball change up combination as well as, you know, we've worked the last, you know, 12 to 16 months about really working on my breaking ball and throwing it more in counts. Um, and my curveball has come a long way and I feel really confident about it, you know, dropping it in there, stealing strikes. And I think eventually it will become another um, out pitch for me. Um, but yeah, overall, just when I'm attacking, I'm aggressive. Don't just like any pitcher, you know, when you throw strikes, you're going to be more successful. And uh, I don't think with my stuff, I need to nibble. Like I can, I can go right at guys and, you know, weak contact, swing and misses, whatever it may be, you know, you pitch aggressively to hitters and that's when you have the most success. Maybe the answer to this next question is your curveball. You, if you're just straight looking at the numbers, you've had a lot of success since you were drafted back in 2017, but where do you feel you've grown or improved the most since you've been in pro ball for two and a half years? Um, I'd say just my overall understanding of the game and how to pitch. Like, I mean, as a 17 year old kid coming out of high school, you think, you know, you think you, you've done well and mm -hmm. you know, you know, you're going to learn a lot in pro ball and just the nature of learning as you play more and more baseball. But I really think, I've grown a lot, you know, mentally, physically, um, but just understanding the game more, understanding like how to actually pitch and like what, how to get guys out. And like, it's not necessarily the things that you, you thought were important and just, I mean, all aspects, just being able to learn new pit, not learn new pitches, but learn how to do, do things different ways. And, and I mean, my changeup, I think is one of the biggest I didn't throw a changeup at all in high school and now in pro ball, just having to prep. I remember my first year in rookie ball, I had to throw it in throwing programs and stuff. And now it's become one of my best pitches and just adapting, I guess, and learning and, and figuring out new ways to get better.